Yo, what is going on everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's episode 5 of my Cart by Vanguard Dear Days playthrough. And today is the day I'm going to spend a lot of money to get every single DLC or whatever you want to call these things in the game at once. Now, I just would like to preface this with, with just don't buy this. Don't do this. Like, I understand buying the DLC for the new sets, but most of these, you pretty much just have to be a whale and be like me where I just don't give a fuck. This is my main account. Um, I'm just gonna buy everything I possibly can to have every little bit of the game. But yeah, like, most of these sleeves, I mean, the, the, like, I'm not even gonna use these, but I'm gonna buy them anyway because I'm an idiot. So, yeah, um, so if you guys want to know how much it would cost to buy every single DLC, um, yeah, uh, 219 US dollars. So, yeah, um, I'm dumb, uh, that's one thing. Um, I think it would be $10 more because I did buy the, uh, set four of the rare card set already, so it probably would be, uh, just a little bit more, but, yeah, I'm going to press purchase and just cry. Just cry. Ah, there we go. Alright, well, let's see what happens now when we get in-game. Alright, well, we're loading it up, we're loading it up. I cannot believe I just spent that much money on this game, so it's official, I've spent about, what? 300 bucks on this game. That's not even including the fact I bought a Steam Deck for this game. I gave away about six, seven hundred dollars in Dear Days stuff. Um, so yeah, we got the rare card set for set one, set two, set three, set five. I already had set four, set six, which is uh DLBTO1 and DLBTO2, uh, DSSO1, DSSO2. Um, by getting DSSO1, I'm going to be able to get SP uh, ride lines for each card. So, yep, uh, character sleeve one, character sleeve two, mini sleeve one, mini sleeve two. Aichi, uh, has been adding, can be selected via CPU fight. Sleeves can be picked up in the shop. Fighter settings can be changed in fighter notes. Okay, we got that for Kai and Ren Suzuka Mori. Yeah. I just spent $220 on that. Yep. So, basically, now we go into collection here. So, let's just, I don't think I've been in here yet, which is why th that's all there. We go in here, and basically, we're just gonna have SPs. Okay, well, apparently you don't go through here. Um, uh, do you? To see the SPs? I mean, I'm gonna see a bunch of other stuff, too. But basically, yeah, you can just see. Now I got an SP the end, you know, I got, yeah, it's just, okay. This is probably not the greatest place to do this. But yeah, basically, I've got so much stuff now. And then we go into sleeves, and apparently we gotta buy them still in the store, which is just great. Like, why, why are you doing this to me? I already paid the real cash dollars for this. Why? Okay, let's let's go to the shop. Let's see how much these are. I imagine they're like 3k. Please just be like 500. Buy a sleeve. Alright, okay, 500. Alright, they're all 500. Alright, sweet. So, oh, oh, some of them are free. Okay, the ones I bought are free, apparently. So, I gotta now do this for every single one of these. And done. Oh my lord. If I knew I had to do all that, that took like 10 minutes to just get all of these. If I knew I had to do that, I just wouldn't have bought it. I didn't see also they have a bunch of the other sleeve. Basically, a lot of these are, well, these aren't. Uh, basically, this and over here, all this stuff is uh, official sleeves that they've actually released in real life. And how many? I have zero VP. Never mind. I was going to buy Blackout and Daybreak sleeves, but nope. Okay. So, yeah, I now have a lot of sleeves. Yay. Um... Yeah. Alright, let us check out our sleeves here. Can I, uh, change sleeves? So, we still have all of these we've got to get, but then all of these. Um, which sleeves are we going to use? Because I am going to use one of these, at least right now. I'm never going to use these. Like, maybe Kai. Kai's pretty, Kai's pretty badass, like, let's be honest here. Um... I mean, you know what? Let's let's use the Kai's. Let's use the Kai's here for, um, huh. Let's use these for our main deck, and then let's use the, uh, the big boy ones for our ride deck. All right. All right. 
I mean, realistically, I'm going to use the Blackout or Daybreak Slaves for at least one of those two, so I'm already going to lose a slot of, of my brand new expensive dollar sleeves. Oh, my lord. Each pack of sleeves is like a dollar, probably, of real money, which is just great, but <laughs> this is what happens when you're just stupid. Um, So, yeah, I want to check out the uh, CPU fights now. All right, we are back. Uh, it is actually the next day from when I recorded the previous bit of this video. I kind of had to run out and I had to work the rest of the day. So, yeah, we're doing this now. I don't remember exactly what I said at the end of the last clip. Basically, what we're going to be doing is now we're going to be fighting Aichi, Toshiki Kai, and Ren Suzukamori um, to get full use out of my purchases. So, yeah, my very intelligent, amazing purchases. Let's go. We're going to start with Aichi, of course. The king himself. All right, the king of Vanguard. All right. So, yeah, it's the next day here. Um, yeah, I was supposed to get that video done yesterday. Ended up not working out, but we're chilling. So, all right. Decent hand. Um, I'm just happy I got my Maha Nirvana early because that seems to be an ongoing thing on me not getting that early. So, all right. I actually wasn't able to play any Vanguard uh, the entirety of yesterday besides me purchasing stuff. Just was that busy, man. It's been crazy around here. We got the Black Friday sales event coming up. It's huge. Over $5,000 in free shit going out to people who purchase in-stock stuff. It's going to be insane. Get my little promo there. All right, let's take this here. All right. But yeah, link to the website's down in the description down below. Uh, just throwing that out there. And um, the start date is November, what is it, 23rd? So... Yep, and it goes till the 28th, so, yep, yep, just throw that out there. Now we can get back to the more fun stuff, which is Vanguard Deer Days. Let's go. All right. You know what's great about this hand and this combo and why arcs and Expecta are so good? Is I'm able to just throw the arcs down for the free card. Okay, well, I forgot. I do not have anything. I do not have any Vernas left. All right, so... Um, let's go ahead and use this. Um, let's chuck, um, we don't need Amelia anymore, so we can chuck Amelia for my trick star here. Um, and then we can overdress arcs on this to get these two extra cards. My, my nice pot of greed. Okay. Let's go. Let's draw two. All right. Uh, we got another arcs from that. All right. Now we can overdress this on top of this. Get some extra power going here. Um, now the problem is I just don't have any more trick stars left, so I probably should just stick with this. But, you know, I'm going to call one Verena here. In worst case scenario, it gets retired, and honestly, I'm completely fine with that because it just sets up uh, my grade 4 Verena even better. So, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. Trying to use my brain here. It's really hard for me, but we're, we're trying. We're, we're moving. And then the music always just amazing. You know what's funny? This game is a lot more fun to play when you don't play it five, six hours a day, and you just play it like two, three hours a day. Honestly, it just makes it so much more fun, and it just doesn't, I, I just don't get sick of it. Like, right now, I'm just like, dude, I'm pumped. Oh, my lord. What's he gonna hit? Of course. Alright, it's Aichi. He, he hits every trigger. He's got Psyqualia, man. I, it's unfair. Um, should I be hitting this? I, I think I should be hitting this Blaster Blade just to stop. Huh. Him to using it next turn, but I could also just go for extra. You know, we're gonna go for extra damage. Probably would have been equally as smart to go. Okay, well, yeah, that that was the problem. They could easily just be threw the better in there. All right, yeah, definitely would have been smart for, to go for the blaster blade there. I'll do that for next time. All right. All right. It's three to three. And I haven't used my um my big setup yet. How many guard cards are we talking here? That's the thing we're kind of lacking here. We did pull our um our grade four here. Oh yeah, that's completely fine. I want that going. Man, I don't like this. If he OTs. That I'm in the shitter. Alright, well, to lose... He doesn't. He didn't put a Blaster Dark in the soul, right? No, it was just a Blaster Blade. So, he has to hit both triggers, one being an OT. 
and then a crit. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Are you serious? What? I didn't even see him with the blaster dark in there. That completely escaped me. But still, what? I got three chances for a heal or over trigger. I haven't hit a single heal or over trigger. Please. Oh! What did that just happen? He didn't even need triple drive. I was dead. Let's go! Come on! Boom! I am not addicted to caffeine. And I had a draw. In your face, Aichi, you psychology freaking amazing individual. Holy crap. Oh my lord. I, oh, I clicked without thinking, and I didn't even look. Luckily, I clicked the right card because imagine if I rode a grade three on top of a grade three. All right. So, man, this is a great game. Um, oh, did I just check the card from my hand? Whatever. All right. For some reason, it sets that up automatically where it, it calls the card from the hand instead of, um, yeah, so. I don't know what to do. I don't even have like the double VP thing where the triggers are harder or easier to get for them. What the heck? Oh my lord. So I could risk this or I could just go in with this. The issue that I'm having here is that I need extra cards just in case the guard next turn, and the odds are I could get a card to get me a trick star. Alright, I think I gotta go for the safe plan here and overdress this. I think I should have enough cards next turn, especially with my triple drive. Um, I'll make sure I do this right. So I'm gonna just shut down Expecta. Oh, wait. What the? F is this what this does? What the? Why does it have? Oh, my lord. I forgot to check the trigger. Oh, my god. Oh, my lord. I I'm struggling here. Nope, that is the worst card to do. Alright. Alright, it's time. It is time. The triple trigger. Oh my lord, it would have worked. Oh my lord. It would have worked. See, now that I think of risky strategies, it would have worked. And now he can just, he doesn't even have to guard this. No crits. Alright. Well, I definitely would say I have enough to guard everything. It should easily be able to, especially with two PGs, worst case scenario. That makes it harder. I feel like I'm watching my death like proceed right now. Um, thinking about it now, I really just don't have that many good cards to uh, to use here. So I'm gonna have to chuck these two. I mean, survival is the number one priority right now, and I do just need to keep this set up. All right, so I think I got this good. I just need to keep this set up here so I can actually hit him really hard next turn. Now you're going to chuck both of those in because you're cool like that. Thing is, thinking about it now, he probably has two two PGs at least in, in his hand right now. Like, but I, I got to do it this way. It's the only way I win. 
Dude, if he pops a heal, I cry. The tears, the tears. Dude, why are you sacking so hard, IT? What the? I I swear I didn't set up the VP boost where trigger luck is easier. Oh my lord, but it's an Aegis mirror. Oh my lord. Freaking PG, dude. I don't know how I win this. Alright, really what I need now is some sort of Varina when I use Ark's ability. But the, dude, now the problem... My lord, dude, this is just not set up well. I think I need to update this deck or something. Because now if I use Arcs, I can't use Expecta. This is the problem when you just have no counter charge power. Man, this game is really screwing me right now. And... I mean... No. I, I gotta go with this because I need the this I need as many attacks as possible to try and break through this. And then maybe I can survive next turn. Maybe. Okay, well, I could appreciate a PG now that I just got Okay, dude, that that is perfect. Alright, what how much card is he? He's got 40k. Alright. Thing is, he's got two PGs in hand, so I'm, I'm automatically losing this. But like, like losing this turn, I ain't, I ain't hitting him this turn. It's just not happening. He's not even using his PGs, dude. He probably has three PGs in that hand. Well, we know he at least has one, so he'll probably use it here. Yep. What's he gonna drop? Majesty, he could have. How much you want to bet? He's got two PGs and a Majesty in hand. How much you want to bet? He's gonna persona right. I'm, I'm, I'm just so smart. It hurts. Oh my lord. Just making sure I'm not missing anything here. All right. Pray for a front trigger. That is not what I asked for. Luckily, the OT is out of the picture here. And honestly, it would have been worse for him to get him out. Okay, cool. Um... Thinking this is what we got to do here. Luckily, he didn't. Luckily, he didn't put a blaster dark in soul, so we don't have to worry about that. Man, he always taps trigger, and of course, it's a heal, dude. Man, this just isn't working. All right. Well, this is really my final turn. Four cards in hand, at least one being a PG guaranteed. I have to freaking win this. Alright. End of that writing. Um, so this skill... Oh, wait, I can damage him with that. Okay, that's good. So that will call Trickstar. So I'll call this. I... Alright, well, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. That's exactly what I wanted. Thing is, either way, it would have worked out the same way. Because I would have had one less attack. Or one less beefy attack. Okay, good. Man. Next time I'll think these things through more. 
Give me something. Man, okay. I just have to hit this. Do you have another PG in hand? Come on, don't hit a healer. Don't hit a heal. Don't hit a heal on six. Don't hit a heal on six. Please. Dude, with the amount of plays that there were like, there was a 50-50, like either could have worked, but it was like impossible decision. Like I could have thrown Mahar into the drop zone, called the trick star, dealt him a damage, but then that row would have just been 15. I don't think, I think that is the only way I win right there because he's still got two cards in hand and I guarantee they're both probably, dude, they're probably, one's probably a 10 and one's a 25 maybe. Oh my lord. Okay, well actually no, it's probably a 5 and a 15. It's probably what it is. So I wouldn't have been able to... Yeah, I, I, I can pretty much guarantee that. Alright, man. Jesus. Alright, well. That was the closest game of my life. Now we're going to go against Kai because he's the biggest badass in the history of badasses. Alright. Um. So how are we going to play this? How are we going to play this? Let's chuck a Verena. For... Sunrise Egg. Okay. Um, we're going to have this back up here. Problem is I don't have another Trick Star. I was going to use Urger, but I can't do that now because no Trick Star. So I'm going to call this here. Just because it's got the Overdress skill. And let's go. Alright. This is like such a like off plan plan here. Typically, you use the Trick Stars and the Overdress and blah, 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 blah. Now, I'm just using Nirvana skill to just increase my power and deal as much damage as possible. Big brain shit. That is not big brain stuff. Imagine I get him to five here. Doubt it. He's gonna wow, we didn't guard that. If he doesn't hit a trigger here, I'm probably getting him the five on again, unless he just starts chucking his hand down. Let us see. I mean a promo will, will do it. Wow. Wow, that's three draws now too. He has ten cards in hand, that's interesting. I think I have two columns with these grade fours. That would just be just disgusting. Okay, let me just let me just make sure I understand this. During the battle, this unit attacked a rear guard. Your opponent cannot call cards from their hand. At Okay, so that just pretty much tells me exactly what I have to freaking do. Uh, no guard. Oh, that is a scary picture. Obviously gonna take it. Me want trigger. That's perfect, too. Let's go. Um, you know, I just have this sneaking suspicion he's gonna just pull an OT and a crit like last game, and I'm gonna cry a lot. So, because of that sneaking suspicion, I'm going to chuck a PG down. Well, he's going after my baby, my, my, my amazing card. Ah. Uh, yeah, no. 
PGs, aka the OT stopper. Alright, it's time to ride. Yay. Alright. Okay, by doing this, I need one other counter blast, so. Just making sure I count my counter blast right because, yeah. Alright, um. What am I missing here? Huh? I didn't have a trick star in my drop zone, did I? Yeah, no misplays. Alright. Call. Over to dress. Alright, um, so how are we starting this? How are we starting this? Obviously with this guy, because he's the best and most amazing thing ever. Um, Do you have that many PGs? You're just going to chuck a PG when you could have chucked the 15k. Alright. Man, I just love not having used my counter blast for a skill. That's just great. It's like the only card of my deck. I mean, this one I understand. The last one, I just don't know what the fuck that was. Um, we're gonna give the crit there. Things he's gonna PG this. There's no way he doesn't. So, yeah, I'm gonna give the power there. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Just gotta get one through. Just gotta get one through. Come on. Dude, does he have four PGs? I swear, does he have four PGs? I just love the OTs. I mean, we win. It's just... Imagine, imagine, imagine they didn't PG my 40k. I would have had to go to another turn. I still would have probably won, but... <laughs> that OT gives me brain damage. Alright, red time. Yes, I do have a Varina left. One, I think. Okay, two. Alright. So, what we do? We Trickstar, then we Varina, then Expecta. Uh, yes. Do, 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 do. I do have a Trickstar. Yeah, right. Alright. Alright, what are we chucking? What are we chucking? Um... But nothing. Um, I actually don't think we should use it right now. Because I kind of need every card here. Some for guarding, some for my strategy. So we'll keep the Trickstar there for next turn when we ride Mahar. So we'll call that. Overdress this. Then we're going to Overdress Expecta. Alright. Pretty much going to try and make sure Expecta hits. That's pretty much the goal here. Because if we do, we should be able to give him the 4 damage and tie this sucker up. Maybe even better, we can pop a heal. Front trigger, that helps. Helps guaranteeing this bad boy gets in. Right. Take the cards for guard. Go get him, Expecta. And my opponent's grade 3 has to be... I mean, my opponent's Vanguard has to be grade 3, right? Yep. Alright, alright, alright. 
I definitely need to do a lot of off-camera uh, grinding here. Just haven't had the time. That is a very beautiful card there, sir. Oh. And that's the reason why it was good that I didn't throw down that, that many cards last turn because then there was only one to get rid of. Alright, expected of the damage zone. Alright, I kind of have to PG this because OT wins the game and also that's a lot of power, so guard. I'm going to throw, I think, Amelia out. He just me though. Come on, man. Let's see what we can do. Alright. And I drew my OT. Okay. Time to ride. Time to see a flawless set of moves. And time to win this game this turn. Could have called final turn, but this is very risky, so I'm not going to do it. Not more or less risky. It's more or less 50-50, and I might lose. So, yeah, kind of risky. All right. Please don't do that. Oh, look at that beautiful card. Oh, it's so gorgeous. All right, overdress six. All right. Oh, not much else to do here. All right, five. Will he use his PG here, and does he have more than one? It's good, it's just a matter of is there two in that hand, but I and I think there is, it's just we'll see. If there's not, we win. Especially now. At least I think we can survive next turn, worst case scenario. Unless an OT's hit. Okay, well that helps. Will my beautiful Exparadia Verena win yeah knew it luckily I think I got enough cards to survive this I'll be very surprised if he uses this skill he's using the skill Wow. Um. I mean, I'm gonna do this. So here's my dilemma here. I kinda have to drop that because I need this to activate this skill to get the extra 10k. So I, yeah. Though with how weak. Oh my lord! I'm about to say with how weak this attack's about to be, he's probably getting another turn, so that's why I kind of was like, uh, oh, should I keep the 15k? No. Or am I going to draw? That is not what I needed. Okay, well. Which are state. Why do I keep getting these shits mixed up? Oh my god, I'm pissing myself off with all these fucking stupid mistakes. Alright. Really not even a mistake. There's nothing else I could have done. It's just... Okay. Well, that's very helpful, actually. Wow. Okay, well, can't heal, but... Well, 
Now, really, all I need is a Trick Star, and I can win next turn. But... Hmm. Almost, almost ran out of cards there. Huh. Seriously gonna do it again? If it's a hoot I lose. Um, so if I go with that, two triggers to hit. He's not going to get any more powerful than that, so I'm just going to throw that down. Don't hit an OT. Da, 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 da. Don't hit an OT. Alright, that's fine. We're chilling. I can call final turn. Especially if I get hit a Trick Star here. Or even a Nirvana, so I can call a Trick Star from my graveyard. Or an Amelia to freaking just, just gouge my eyes out with. I think this deck needs a lot of adjusting because it seems like I keep getting in the same situation where I'm not able to get to a Trick Star or Nirvana or Verena. If I hit one trigger, this is over. Well, I'm set up for next turn if I need a guard. Wow. I think, still think I'm... Pretty sure that's a... Isn't that a grade one? Yeah, okay. Wow, we actually won all three, even with all my freaking... Oh my lord. That was an interesting game. I gotta get all these misplays out of my system when I enter that freaking tournament. Oh my lord. Alright, we're gonna end the shot with a big pack opening, because we got 12,000 pack. Alright, nope, we are not fighting you, Yuki. You are too good for me, clearly. Alright. What are we open? What are we open? Alright, so we're still trying to build Overlord, so that's what we're going for. Both Overlords, actually. So, time to open 40 packs. Alright, what are we going to get? Okay, experiment successful to start. Next, let's go. Alright, I think I have a place out of that now, so that's good. Uh, Tamayura. A deck that it seems like it's in the cards for me to, to play because I keep getting all of its support cards. To be fair, there's a lot of support cards for it in here, but yeah. And I'm pretty sure I have like all of Eva's support cards too, which is just great. Alright. Oh. oh! SP Eva, starter, as I say. Okay. I still, by the way, I still have not gotten a single support card for Phantom Blaster Overlord. Oh. As I say. Boom! Secret rare Phantom Blaster Overlord. Let's go! Oh, my lord. That's a clip right there. That's a clip right there. Majesty? I don't think I've gotten any of that yet, so I'll take it. Not another time of year? I'm, dude, I'm telling you, it's in the cards for me to play that deck. Alright. Redivir. Another bit of beer. Nope. 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 Probably gonna get a lot of CP from this. Nope again. Nope. Nope. 
SP Tamiura starter. Okay. Majesty. All right. Could use an extra, you know, good card like Phantom Blaster Overlord because he's so cool like that. The pet of your man. I I'm like getting Blasters, Eva, and Tamiura support. That's it. There's the end. I'll take that. All right, Raiden Luna. And that's it. And well, I'm very happy I got this. I mean, that's a beautiful freaking card if I do say so myself. But yeah, how much CP we got now? Man. 4,300. Okay, sick. All right. Um, well, I could probably craft a lot of what I need for the Phantom Blaster Overlord deck now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, definitely an interesting video. Um, I, I feel like I'm getting a lot of the uh, of the the misplays out of the way because it seems like a regular thing. It's like, hey man, it's crazy how many brain farts I can have in one game. But trust me, soon that'll all be gone. I'm okay. I accidentally clicked the button. All right, that's pretty much it for today, though. Hope you guys did enjoy. Again, um, if you did like the button, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys later. And peace.